Welcome back to this blog on halibut fishing presented by Petter Bay RV and Marina in Machosa, located 30 miles from Victoria, British Columbia. Last week, we learned about tides and currents and the Navionics app. Today, we are going shopping for an anchoring system to help keep you on the halibut spots. So let's join Michael from Island Outfitters in Victoria, British Columbia to learn a little bit about buying an anchoring system for your boat. Hi there, Michael from Island Outfitters. Uh, here to talk to you today about uh, the ideal setup for halibut fishing out on the west coast. Uh, and to me again, that is definitely anchoring. Um, the main, main thing you're gonna need is obviously your anchor. Now out here, most guys use uh, what's called a Bruce style anchor. Uh, they range anywhere from five and a half pounds to 20 pounds, depending on the size of the boat. Uh, and we'll build one accustomed to the size of your boat needed and depending on water depth. Next thing obviously is chain. Uh, general rule for anchoring is minimum one boat length of chain up to two boat lengths. Uh, usually we set them up one uh, or one and a half boat lengths depending on the size of boat. A couple different ways that we use as a retrieval system is your uh, double, double ring system. This system is probably the most widely known. Uh, it will run over knots in your chain, knots in your rope, uh, also, anything that's been caught up on your line, such as jigs or anything that may get in the way, uh, this is definitely your most popular method. Out here, we fish anywhere from 150 feet, upwards of 450 feet. Uh, so on average, most of our kits come with 500 feet of line or more, uh, depending on the uh, type of area you're fishing or different depths that you're using. Uh, general rule for rope length, um, which is often called as road, uh, is minimum two to one ratio on average, uh, but typically out here, the longer the better. So if you've got a three to one ratio, if you've got five or 600 feet of rope for 200 feet of water, that's definitely a lot better for holding. Uh, when it comes to your retrieving unit, um, what you're gonna need is a Dan Fender. Now on average, they're usually about a 50 inch circumference. Uh, depending on the size of boat and depending on the size of system, we will actually go up to a 60 inch or a 75 inch, depending on the size of boat. There's just a little, little bit under inflated 50 inch. And on our joint section, we always run a secondary piece of rope, a different color, just to give you an idea of when you're getting close to your last few length of rope. Um, this stainless clip is actually attached uh, to your bow to stern line. That is your number one safety with your system. If for any reason you need to detach, you can either cut that bow to stern line or untie it, and your anchor system will safely be attached to the bottom of the ocean with you nowhere near. So main reason we use the Bruce style anchor versus uh, any of the um, Danforth or the fluted style, these anchors generally always set themselves. Even if they twist or rotate, they're always digging in a downward uh, position. And on these guys, we run a few zap straps up front. Uh, some guys use paracord, some guys use ganyan. What happens is if this gets caught buried into a boulder or stuck on bottom, this will break away from the zap straps, freeing your anchor. So instead of pulling from the front end, it now pulls from the heel of the anchor and pulls it cleanly out. Safe and sound, you're back home headed towards the docks. Anchoring systems, they range anywhere from uh, $600 to $1,000. It is like anything on your boat. It's like your electronics, your fishing gear. If you're gonna buy it once, buy it right. Uh, we'll custom fit them for you. And it's the number one thing you're gonna wanna have out halibut fishing.